Hello everyone and welcome back to Arctic Retro and uh, today I am taking a look at the gadget I got for my Sinclair ZX Spectrum. This is the new ZX Frankenstein and I got this from You Make Robots and it costs about 45 British pounds. If you want to produce your own PCBs, I actually recommend PCBWay. They have a very nice website at pcbway.com where you can upload your Gerber files easily. And right now they are offering up to 10 PCBs for as low as five US dollars. And your first order, you get the $5 discount. So that's free PCBs. In addition, they are offering uh, other services like 3D printing and CNC machining, as well as uh, PCB assembly. They also have this shared projects portal where you can uh, search and find a lot of uh, already made PCBs that you can uh, order right away. So this is an extension module for the ZX Spectrum computer and uh, yeah, it comes in a 3D printed case and uh, that looks very nice indeed. So I thought I'll test it uh, now and see how it performs. So what is it actually? Well, it's a combination of a Kempston joystick interface and uh, the Max Duino Arduino based uh, tape loader that can uh, load uh, games and programs from SD cards. I already made a video before about the Max Duino or ZX Duino and you can take a look at that video, uh, I'll link to it in the description. Uh, this one comes in uh, two different models, model A and model B and the difference is uh, how you control the Max Duino menu. You can uh, in model A program it with the buttons like this and in model B you actually use the joystick to control uh, the Max Duino menu. So this is the edge connector for connecting it to the uh, user port and yeah buttons as I said uh, joystick port here's reset this is the audio output which you connect uh, yeah it's a three and a half millimeter audio uh, mono cable and uh, power connector. And on this side, uh, there is the port for uh, the SD card. It came with a brief uh, instructions and uh, actually when I read this, uh, <laughs> I see that I was mistaken. This actually don't need uh, power. The USB connector is only for updating uh, the firmware. Of course, it's powered by the ZX Spectrum. So it has a couple of warnings, do not plug in uh, the device while the ZX Spectrum is plugged into the power. On the back side there are some more instructions about uh, what type of uh, SD card, micro SD card you should use. You should not use a too fast one and uh, format to FAT32. How to download and copy uh, games. So brief instruction but it's uh, probably good enough. We'll see. I have hooked the ZX Spectrum up to my TV now and uh, yeah, let's see if it uh, can actually work with this one. Uh, by the way, here's the um, other um, ZX Duino that I built uh, in a video before and uh, as you can see it's uh, of course a little bit smaller and this one's requiring uh, its own power source and uh, has no <laughs> support for a joystick. And I can just take uh, the micro SD card out of this and uh, of course insert it into uh, this one. Then uh, take out the power of course and uh, insert uh, into the machine. Yeah, 
perfect fit. Hopefully it is stable and makes a good contact. Then add the audio cable. Also to the Sinclair. Then we're good to go, I guess. Just uh, insert the power again. All right, it booted, so uh, things are uh, looking good. I zoomed in a bit and we now can see uh, the information on the OLED display. So um, if I remember, you just uh, go to uh, different folders. So I selected TCX uh, folder, which contains uh, the games I tested on uh, the other device before, but uh, let's see, cauldron. Now we just type the load command, load, enter, and then press play on uh, this one. And now we can hear the audio. Yeah, it found cauldron. And this should take a while, a <laughs> couple of minutes. It's not any quicker than uh, loading the original tapes, of course, because it's using uh, audio wave uh, as the data carrier. All right, so uh, that loaded just fine. Excellent. Let's see now if we can make this work with the joystick. Select one. Yeah, that seems to be working. <laughs> Oops. I'm a little bit rusty <laughs> and this is not the best joystick, but uh, yeah, this actually works. I have never tried a joystick before on uh, my ZX Spectrum. Okay, so that was a really pleasant experience. Uh, no hassle, just uh, plug and play and you're good to go. I like that. But there are some uh, settings and uh, you have um, different things you can change. Uh, I won't go into detail on uh, everything. The ZX Spectrum I'm using is actually uh, one that, that I had for uh, several years and, uh, and recently I just upgraded it to 48K and also I changed the keyboard membrane and before that I did uh, uh, other stuff like uh, composite modification. You can find everything in uh, my old videos if you want to take a look. I'll try and link some of the videos into the description of this video. One thing I just noticed that I don't like is that the joystick port is on top. So uh, of course the cable and the contact will be in the way like this. If it was on the side, uh, it would be better on this side perhaps or this side, maybe. All right, the uh, bomb jack has loaded and it has an option for Kempson P. So I'm just gonna press P and then one player game. Yes, works just fine. Oh, this is great. Oh no. All right, uh, that was the functional test and it uh, works great. Excellent uh, product. And uh, as I mentioned, the 3D printed case is uh, very good. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this one. Uh, now it's time to take a peek inside and see how this is uh, built. This should be fairly easy to open. Uh, just uh, eight screws, four on each side.
Then there's four screws uh, inside on this side of the PCB. All right, so that's the other side of uh, the PCB. And uh, yeah, this um, SD card reader is uh, glued down, so I'm not gonna remove that. Um, yeah. So I'm not gonna go into detail about the design of this uh, board because I simply don't know anything about it. But uh, here is the Arduino Nano and uh, yeah, a couple of uh, ICs here and uh, everything seems to be hand soldered and uh, yeah, okay soldering job, I guess. Only thing I noticed that the uh, joystick port uh, is not uh, secured with its uh, anchor points uh, but uh, that's not a problem it seems to be very well fastened anyway I don't know if this uh, PCB design is uh, open sourced or available for download somewhere um, I think this is a, a combination of two different uh, designs that uh, exist from before and uh, yeah looks okay so only drawback I think is that it is uh, standing up like this instead I would maybe have preferred it to be lying down on the table behind the SX Spectrum. All right uh, that was it for this video check out this product if you have a ZX Spectrum and uh, if you want an easy way to uh, load games from SD card and also use a joystick this works with uh, all Atari compatible joysticks. Go and get one at uh, youmakerobots.com and as a disclaimer I am not sponsored by them or anything, I just uh, tested uh, this product. Alrighty, thanks for watching and as always a great thanks to my patrons uh, over at patreon.com. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.